Hello everyone. Today we shall look into bit related functions. Bit and function it returns a bitwise and of two numbers. Bit or function it returns bitwise or of two numbers. Bit XOR function it returns bitwise XOR of two numbers. These functions supports both negative and fine negative and positive numbers. Bit L shift it returns a number shifted left by the specified number of bits. Bit R shift it returns a number shifted right by the specified number of bits. If shift amount is negative, it will shift in the opposite direction. If absolute value of shift amount is larger than 64, there will be no error, but it will result in overflow or underflow. There is no limit on number, but the result may overflow or underflow. Let us see in action how it works. We have this column where I'll, uh, you know, I click on this new column and I have created a new column. I have given the name as bit and I'll type the function bit and function in the number one. I'll provide the number 13 in the number two. I'll provide the number 11. <coughs> I'll tell you uh, this decimal numbers and uh, binary numbers. There are two different uh, numbers, which is decimal numbers and binary, num binary numbers. Here I have an example for you like for 0 it is 0, for 1 it is 1, for 2 it is in binary numbers it is 10, for 3 it is 11 and for 4 and uh, similarly so on. I will uh, provide this uh, reference link in your, in the description. Ok let us see the example. Now I want to compare this 31 and 11 in the binary format. We know that in, in binary. 13 decimal number it is 1101 in binary for 11 it is 101 in 1011 in binary where 1 represents the true condition and 0 represents the false here let us compare the and true and true like the first digit true and true if both the values are true the result is true in un uncondition so we get the number 1 if it is true or false, we get the number false. And uh, similarly, in the for the third number, it is false and true, we get the false. If it is true and true again, we get the true value. Let us see what is the value for 1001. Okay. Here you could see that 1001 is number 9. I'll click over the here and run the measure, uh, run which is written in the calculated column I mean run the for function in the calculated column here you could see that number 9 is the answer let us see the bit or function here I'll take the similar example I'll write bit or function I'll open the parenthesis provide the numbers 13 comma 11 here the one is true true or true we get true condition true or false we get the true condition false or true we get the true condition true and true so i mean true or true we get the true condition which is 4 11s 4 11s let us see in the binary number where it is present in the binary, num binary numbers here you could see that for number 15 i mean we we get four ones so we'll we'll run this function and see the output here in the bit or column here you could see that 15 is the output. I hope it is understandable. We have to compare each digit with the respective digit in the another number. Okay, let us see the bit XOR function. Here bit XOR function will provide the same numbers 13,11. Here what we have to understand is if both the digits are true or false, the result is false. Okay, for example, true and true like we have the true condition of the first digit true condition of the first digit it is false so I enter, I'll enter 0 here it is opposite true condition and false condition hence I'll enter 1 here it is false condition and true condition hence I'll enter 1 here it is true condition and true condition hence I'll enter false since for XOR condition I have mentioned if both are true or both are false in such case result is false 
as we could see 0 1 1 0 it is nothing but 1 1 0 let us see what is the number where 1 1 0 is present you could see that number 6 has the value 1 1 0 I'll run the function you could uh, see the output for bit XOR function here you could see that bit XOR function 6 is the output let us move on to the other function which is bit R shift here I'll write bit R shift here in the first parameter I'll enter number let us take for example 13 in the shift amount suppose that I want to shift two digits I'll write two and close the parenthesis and hit enter here suppose that if I shift these two digits you know right side then the last two digits would disappear and the number would be like 0011 because if I move this to the right side and uh, enter 00 be behind it you know this number is 0011 it is nothing but uh, 11 in the binary number hence the output is 3 as you could see in this bit R shift column okay once you run that here here in order to come out, comment out in uh, DAX we will like start it with double slashes okay and we can run this here you could see the bit R shift value is 3 hence the output is 3 let us move on to the other function which is bit L shift okay I'll give the similar example and let us see how we, how it works here I'll write the function bit L shift I'll type number 13 comma 2 I'll close the parenthesis okay I'll hit enter here if we shift these digits to left what what will what it will happen is I'll get the same number but at the right side I'll get two digits because I'm shifting two digits so this number if we convert into binary number it is number 52 you could check and check by converting it online and uh, the reference output would be to 52 num number 52 this is how bit L shift works by shifting the binary digits to the left side and replacing the number of di digits with zeros in the bit R shift the binary number would be shifted to the right side okay the binary digits in the bit R shift would be shifted to the right side and uh, the starting will replace the number of digits shifted with zeros I hope it is understandable this is all for now please practice and thank you for watching we shall meet in the next video